Okay guys, so for this tutorial, we're gonna be using 21 gauge square silver filled, or silver uh, non-tarnished wire. Uh, it has um, copper as the core. Uh, for our wrapping wire, for one of at least, we're going to use 21 gauge half round wire, uh, silver color. So it's the same size, but the difference is this is cut in half. Okay, so <clears throat> those are the two main wires we're going to be using. Um, I like to keep a couple of um, uh, spring clamps just to kind of help hold my uh, wires in place. Um, I've got a pair of flat nose uh, pliers that I like to use. Um, I've got two pairs of bent nose pliers. These are a thinner nose and these are a bit thicker uh, just depending on what you need them for. Of course your um, flush cutters that are nice and flat on the bottom. And then I have a pair of nylon job pliers. These are kind of optional unless, um, now if you're like me and you want your wire pretty doggone straight, um, that's how I like it, uh, which I'll show you how I do here in a minute because this one is not straightened out. I just cut it off. So <clears throat> I'm going to be making a ring uh, similar to this one. Um this one I used a, a, a Wailo Opal. Uh, it's a, I believe it's a nine uh, by seven millimeter, something like that. But the band is going to be about the same. Uh, the wrapping is going to be about the same. But instead of using the, an Opal, I'm going to be using this little um, resin uh, gem that I had made uh, for the centerpiece of the ring. All right, and I've already cut three pieces of my um, 21 gauge square wire here. I cut I cut these at about eight inches, um, slightly over. I always leave just a little bit of a gap, just that way. If you want to trim the ends, you can. Uh, but I've got three of them cut, and I've already straightened out two of them. The way that I straighten them is I'll take um, this side of my my bent nose pliers. I'll take it like that, and then I'll take my uh, nylon jaws and trying to keep this keep it squared off in the same direction without getting the square wire twisted. This is just what I do. I just run it over, and at the same time of doing this, not only does it straighten it out, but it also work hardens it a little bit. So if that's um, something that you would want to happen, you can that it does. Uh, if you don't want that to happen, you can always just run your hands over it um, and get it fairly straight. So you see, I've got it pretty doggone straight right here compared to what it was. So I'm only using three. I've seen rings made like this using uh, four or five or even six um, base wires, which is what we're going to consider these as. These are, uh, these are considered base wires, and your thinner wire that you're going to wrap around uh, the base wires is, is called the wrapping wires, or weaving wires. It just kind of depends on how you do it. So we're going to start off with making the band right here. Uh, on this ring, I used uh, four base wires, but on this current ring, I'm going to use three base wires instead. So I'm just going to get you started and show you how um, how I do it, and then um, once I've shown you pretty well how to uh, do it, then I will uh, cut off the camera, finish my wrapping, and then continue on. So you want to get your wires pretty well lined up, flat, all next to each other really, really nicely. Sometimes that can be a little bit difficult, especially if um, if you see right here, uh, some of my wires are a little bit bent out of shape at the end where I held them with the um, bent nose pliers. So you just go through, straighten that end up a little bit. That's all I do. All right, that should be pretty good. 
you want to make sure they're pretty well even. They might not be quite the same length you see. They're just slightly off on the length, but that's okay. It's all right. Um, but you want to get them fairly even. Uh, you can do this just by hand by holding them. I have found personally that I really love using these little spring clamps. Uh, they seem to help me a lot holding my wires still and even and it, it really really helps you may you want to make sure that these being square wires are even and next to each other so if you want to measure out exactly how much uh, wire you want to uh, wrap you can always use you know tape measure whatever I have this little it's just a paper tape measure that I had gotten out of a little pack that I got from like the dollar store or something and I just literally just taped it to my desk that way I've always got a tape measure and it's not gonna hurt if it gets mess messed up or whatever so you can measure out however length um, usually about two and a half inches um, is about where you would probably want to start as well as end your uh, wrapping so I've got that you can see I've got the tail end sticking up right there this is roughly at about two and a half inches in uh, so I'm probably going to um, wrap until I hit about two and a half inches I'm going to make quite a large um, ring here so I just take this at roughly about two and a half inches so I'm going to be be uh, wrapping this let's see to about right there so I'm gonna take another little clamp you do not have to do this this is completely optional I just find that this helps me a lot um, and then I just take it through and then that way it also keeps your base wires nice and even against each other and it, it helps it look really pretty I keep going off camera I'm sorry <sighs> So I'm just going to measure one more time just to make sure, and I'm a little under, so I'm just going to bring it up just a little bit. So that is the length of base wires that I will be wrapping, okay? So you're going to take, um, I usually just take about, <clears throat> about an arm's length, maybe two, something like that. You just kind of, as, as you get better at uh, wire wrapping, you can better guesstimate um, how much wire you need. Um, I have made a ring like this using 18 gauge square and 18 gauge half round and it turned out to be quite a thick um, ring and if that's the look you want go for it. It did, did turn out to be a very beautiful ring. I loved it. I just wanted to make a ring that was a bit daintier um, and it didn't sit as thick which this turned out absolutely lovely. You see it's not super big it's, it doesn't sit up on my knuckle too high. You know, it's not a super huge band either. And that's what I wanted. I, I know a lot of women don't like a super thick um, ring, um, especially for something as flashy as an opal. Opals are absolutely gorgeous. And I wanted, I didn't want to cover that, that opal up too much on that one. So I'm just kind of getting out my wire. I'm going to do, yeah, about an arm's length, just a hair more than an arm's length, sorry. Um, of course, take your cutters, cut off your length. Um, you can measure the exact exact amount, how much wire you want to get out. I really hardly ever do of my weaving wire because I'd rather have too much than too little. Um, especially of this half round wire. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you never know. Um, you don't it, it would be difficult to have to add more half round wire uh, to what you've got so make sure when you're dealing with half round wire that you do get the um, the flat side down so my flat side is right here next to my thumbnail which I know it's not focusing very hard to see but anyway, so um, I'm going to make sure that is down. I'm going to leave a bit of a tail, and I'm going to put it about right there 
so that I can have a little grip to it, okay? And then you're simply going to wrap it around. This first few wraps are gonna be what's most difficult because you've got to hold on to um, your weaving wire, your, your half round wire, as well as make sure you get it, the wrap nice and even and you keep it all nice and flat and everything. I like to just wrap a few, about five times all the way around, keeping it nice and straight and even. And now that I'm back in the front of my wires, keep this part nice and straight, okay? Now, now is when I'm gonna take, you can take your flat nose pliers or you can take your nylon jaw, either one. And you wanna squish down those wires that you just wrapped, just so they get nice and tight and they don't try to wiggle off. Now, uh, when you do this, and I'll show you here in just a second, when you er, in, initially wrap your wire, I don't know if you can really see that very well or not, but yeah, those two wraps that I just finished up compared to the first few that I've already flattened out, if you want that look, don't flatten them out. Uh, but if you want to, it to be nice and flat and uniform, definitely take some kind of uh, pliers of some kind, even if it's just some nice flat uh, chain nose or, or bent nose pliers, just to flatten that weaving wire or, or whatever you have around. Um, flatten it out really good so that it looks, I, I think it looks much better flattened out instead of being um, uh, bubbled up like that. I think this is a much nicer look, especially for a ring band, if it will. Whoops, ah, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, so I think that looks really, really nice for a ring band. So I'm gonna go ahead, now that you saw, I'm literally just twisting the wire around. I'm using my thumb and my first finger to guide where the wire needs to go, as you can see. Very simple, very easy. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna finish this length. I'm probably gonna get to somewhere around about here. Um, and then I will be right back. All right, guys, so this is how far I've gotten. It only took me a few minutes, but I wanted to try to keep uh, the length of the video uh, short. So this is what I've done so far, if my camera will focus. It's not going to, I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, so far looks pretty good. I think I'm just gonna wrap just a few more times. Uh, just to make sure I think I've got enough of a length right now. Uh, so like I said, even though I measured out two and a half inches from either end, this may not be the exact uh, length that you want or need your ring band to be. So I'm just going to flatten that wire that I just wrapped on there. And then you want to get <laughs> your um, ring mandrel. Or if you don't have a ring mandrel, you can use like a little ball of nail polish or a tube of chapstick or something like that. But if you have a ring mandrel, especially if it does have the measurements on there, um, let's say I'm going to do this one as a nine. Uh, then you want to take it, you want to try to hold it on there as close as you can. And I do have too much and you can see that I, I have too much because it's going to overlap like that and that's not what I want. Um, I actually want uh, the wire to stay bare where it will cross so that I can wrap the um, half round wire along both. So I'm gonna unwrap um, probably to about right here, maybe, maybe a little bit more um, so that all of my wire um, so that I can get it 
really, really good. I'm just going to straighten this back out. You always want to be fairly careful uh, if you have bent it like that. Um, and it's really no problem. But if you've uh, wrapped, uh, done anything with wire wrapping before, when you unwe unwrap your wire, um, your wrapping wire, you know that it kind of keeps that shape to a degree. Um, and this half round will do the same thing. If you can kind of see how it's looking, it's kind of got that grooved, zigzag type look to it. Uh, there's not a lot that you can do about that, though after you get so much um, done, you can turn around and here in just a second, I will take my nylon jaw pliers, okay? Holding this pretty firmly with this hand. Just gonna take it and straighten that out to look a bit better, a good bit better. Uh, it's not gonna be perfect, um, but it does look a lot better than it previously did. So I'm going to see if maybe that might be enough now. I'm um, not entirely sure. Um, and at this point, it doesn't really matter which direction it goes over and under and everything. So I do need to keep unwrapping a bit. Um, a good bit more. Um, I was just going rappy, rap, rap happy. <laughs> um let's see and and if you can see what's going on right here it's like the next um, wrap is going ahead and undoing itself and I don't want that to happen yet um, so I'm trying to be very careful trying to keep my wire um, flat side down um, so that it doesn't get twisted up because I will be continuing to use this half round wire um, later on in the ring um, and this is a really good thing for you to see uh, so that you see you know everybody makes mistakes everybody does and I'm nowhere near what you would call an expert I'm just I I'm still learning at this I'm just gotten fairly good at it you know I've done my research I've done my work I've gotten my hands on and I've I've done what I could, and I'm sorry about my uh, wires um, scraping it against the tripod. I don't mean for it to. <laughs> uh, but again, going to go back to my size 9, and going to pull that around, and let's see. Let me take that off real quick. And I still need a bit more, because that's not really, if you can see, uh, that's not really enough for this to sit on whoops and then I drop it that's really good <laughs> so I'm going to keep unwrapping a little bit more and then I will come right back okay guys so I kept unwrapping for a little bit um and you see I put it back on my mandrel I've got it right at about a nine or so and you see I've got a pretty good size little gap right here I think that gap will work pretty well um for the the little base for my little stone to sit on so now that that is we're gonna take that off um, what you can do if you so choose to um, is I will take I'm gonna take that one off because I like to try to straighten out uh, the tails tail ends of these base wires so they just come out straight and you see so it'll be kind of like that uh, what you can do, if you want to, you can always just cut off this little tail of the first part of your um, uh, half round wire. And one thing too, you always want to make sure that the band is staying pretty straight. Um, but you can always take that tail, you can trim it off if you want, or you can kind of wrap it around. Uh, both of those and it kind of helps keep it together so take that and then just push it down that will help hold those together as you work so you see how I've gotten this there is a little bit of a gap right here and that will that will uh, fix itself uh, here momentarily 
always make sure you keep this nice and tight um, and something else that you can do again is take your flat nose and just flatten this part out completely uh, as much as you can and in that way it will keep these wires fairly even fairly straight uh, as much as possible so you're going to take your wire you're going to feed it through the ring band okay to try to keep that flat part of the wire um, down and I've got to go off camera to do that part so I've got it coming through and you see how it looks so far okay so I'm just gonna bring it up I'm gonna turn actually turn it around so I can kind of show you You see how it looks right there keeping it down keeping it nice and flat and even now if you want because I didn't do this and I should have shame on me I'm gonna straighten this what this um, half round wire back again so it looks a little bit better so I'm going to keep it flat, <clears throat> push it through, and then pull it out, trying not to, um, try not to twist it at all. Okay, and then you're going to make sure that this part is nice up against each other, even. So I'm going to do that right there again and then I'm gonna go ahead right now before I get too far on this side I'm gonna flatten those out that way they look fairly nice and then you could take your pliers and you squish them together they may not want to stay together because you can see mine kind of come apart a little bit but as you get more on here they will they, they, they will squish together and you gotta remember too that the stone is probably going to cover that up pretty well. So I'm going to keep doing this and I will meet you back here in just a few minutes. All right, guys, now that I've got that part uh, wrapped up pretty well, you do want to make sure you go in with your flat nose. You want to flatten it out pretty good. Uh, make sure it doesn't have to be perfect. And you see mine's kind of a little, little bit messy, but that's okay. Sorry. Uh, because that's where your stone's going to sit so you shouldn't be able to see that too much okay now at this point okay what do we do with these okay at this point you can separate the wires uh, individually and you can take some of the wire uh, that you have left over and you can wrap one or two of them up uh, or you can take some other colored wire wrap it up whatever you choose to do I've seen someone take this wire and wrap two and then wrap a single or whatever you do want to uh, I have to say that in my experience you do want to leave one base wire at least um, without anything else on it to help and especially this first one because this first one the one more in the middle so these two right here uh, you do want to leave so that that will actually go around your little stone or whatever to hold it on while you put the other ones the other decorative wires around it um, so that would be my suggestion uh, now if you want to take this and you want to wrap it uh, what I suggest is push the other two or other one or however many base wires that you don't want to wrap with your half round wire that you have left over uh, push it off to the side and separate it just about like this and then take this half round that wire that you just got through with try to keep do your best to keep that flat side down okay and I know I went off camera sorry about that so you see it's coming from underneath where I just wrapped all of this and you see it's coming up and over this square wire so that's how it looks right there and then basically you're just going to keep turning this and keeping your half round as straight tight and even as you possibly can uh, you may have a little bit of a hard time but that's okay you can push the wires in you can always kind of pull it a little bit taut. I myself have had times where my half round wire twisted up on me and just just go through and try to back out, straighten it up as much as you can uh, and do your best. Now, unless you want that look, um, you may want that look, 
I don't know. But I like to go in, if I'm using this flat, uh, this half round wire, I still go in with my, my flat nose pliers and I still go ahead and flatten this out because it gives it just some kind of different look to it and I like that. But that's what I do. Keep uh, pushing it in, making sure it's nice and tight against against each other and everything. Uh, for this, uh, I probably won't need too much. You want to estimate how much wire you want to wrap no matter which one it is. Uh, for this one, I'm probably not going to do much more than about that right there. Uh, just so that way, because once you get this wire around, you want to make sure that the wire that's left to go underneath is bare. Okay, so you only want to wrap enough to go over and then it's bare wire to go under. Just so that way you know. And so I'm going to continue with this then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to wrap this up with this same half half round that I have left. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the other um, wire that I have left over. So I'll be right back. All right. And now I have gotten um, that part done. And you see, after I, uh, I left a good size tail on this end. Um, and then I just kind of overlapped that wrap that left a good size tail on there so now i'm going to come through i'm going to push this back out of the way pretty well and for this next one i'm i myself am going to use some 26 gauge uh copper uh non-tarnish wire to wrap this middle wire with um just to give it slightly different color and look to it um uh, you can use whatever you may choose to use. This is round wire, just so you know. Uh, I'm using round wire on this one. Uh, you can use silver wire, whatever whatever you may want to use. It's your choice. It's your ring. <laughs> uh, this is just what I'm choosing to do with this one. Um, but, you know, just make sure that as you're wrapping, you're keeping uh, the wire nice and tight um, up against each other you don't want uh, like you can kind of see maybe uh, that it's kind of bubbled up a little bit so I want to end up taking my wire and uh, tightening that up a bit so that it's not as bad and I keep going off camera and I'm sorry I'm not used to my camera sitting where it is um, and it's very close to where my hands are, as you can tell. Uh, but just keep wrapping it around. Once you get to like a certain point, then you can just kind of go around and around and around and around uh, and make it easier. But at the same time, you don't want to go too far off. You want, uh, if you're going to wrap this one, you want it to be about the same length of wrap as your first one. And that's the same on both sides. And like I said, again, you probably want to leave this uh, middle wire uh, bare so that it will actually go around your stone pretty well. So I'm going to continue this one on. I'm going to work on this one, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I got this one finished up. I got this one finished up. So as you can see, I do have two small tails on this side. I don't have any tails on this side because that was literally all of the wire that I had left. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to trim up uh, these t uh, tails over here, just the copper ones, just uh, about as close as you can get without getting uh, any other wire in there um, and just kind of tucking it in as best as you absolutely can um, trying to stay on camera while I do this <laughs> um, and then what you can do with this other tail is you can either clip it off right there whoops or you can go ahead and wrap it around so you don't have so you have that much less waste uh, and that's what I prefer to do I just hope that I don't have too much um, wire right here on um, my base wire so I'm just gonna tuck that down nice and tight so nothing sticks out um, make sure it's on there pretty well which I know I'm off camera again but there's that that's that's not half bad um, so now what we're gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull this one up 
this one right here and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim it up to right there make sure that gets nice and flat too as best as possible I'm gonna for right now I'm gonna leave this and this uh, just so that um, it'll be okay and I'm gonna adjust everything really quickly so it's gonna be a little bit shaky and I apologize and so this way I'm not going to be quite as close to my camera and I can actually show you what I'm doing. So now i um, put my uh, stone or resin or whatever piece that you have you want to use. So you can see how it kind of sits there and it sits not half bad. Okay, so now you want to take it, whoop, but see it does that. So you can sit it square like this if you want to. I'm going to put mine as a um, as a diamond shape. So you're going to hold it with one thumb, try to keep it still, and then you're going to take the bare wire that's closest to you. Try to keep it straight if you can. This is going to be the difficult part for me to show you on camera. Um, so you're going to kind of just pull it over. As you can see, it's just the wire is coming straight across. And then you're going to uh, make sure that these wires are kind of up and out of the way and then it's just going to come tuck in behind those so you may have to move those up a little bit and I keep getting off camera and I apologize about that and then you're just going to pull it around and you can see how that is now holding that right there but it's not tight as you can see it just came out so we're going to just pull that wire right here you're going to hold the stone again, make sure uh, it's sitting where you want it to. And I've got wires that are hitting my camera, and I'm sorry about that. So again, going to take the bare wire right here from the other side, going to cross it back around behind these, not over them, but behind them. And this one I have to bring up um, because the wire is a bit longer. And now my stone is or whatever is pretty well being held now if you want to shape these wires you can gently shape them so that it's not covering up as much of your stone or resin piece or whatever that you may use be using um, and just very gently I would highly suggest you use your fingers and nails for this because you don't want to mar up the wire these wires will be seen um, um, in front of your stone if you can kind of see this one you can kind of see that I marred up my wire right there so that's not really a great look now if I don't point it out you probably don't even notice but still you don't really want that to happen so uh, I suggest that you just use your fingers and your nails and you uh, get your um, wires going where you want them to go and you get your piece set in there how you want it to sit. So I think that looks pretty good right there. It's not perfect, but you can't always do everything about everything. So you, now you want to make sure you get this one sitting nice, flat, and tight. Same with this one. So now we're going to come through. We're going to take our copper um, wire. We're going to bring it over around like the other and you see that one ended up being perfect perfect length it could have used a few more rotations but you don't want too many um um to because you don't want that copper to come around so now i've got to loosen this up just a little bit because you want it to sit like that um and then you do want to make sure it does sit fairly nice and tight against the inside of the band. But notice we're not cutting these off just yet. So you see how that looks so far. We're going to do the same thing with this one. We're going to bring it up and around. Make sure it's behind that um, bare wire. That one ended up being the perfect length as well as you can see. Again, I have to take this one like this, make sure it sits beside everything else. 
So you can see how that's looking. It's looking pretty good. Again, I need to make sure that my stone or resin piece or whatever sits pretty good. So you can see how that's looking so far. Looks about like an eye. Uh, <laughs> if that's the look you're going for, there you go. If not, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so at this point, let's just bring this across. At this one, uh, we're going to kind of move these down just a little bit so they're out of the way. So this one, I want this to kind of come around over the side about let's see yeah about like that so you can see how it it's it's looking it's kind of holding that stone on the side rather than sitting on the top so um, I've got a pretty good length of the wrapping wire I'm just gonna go ahead and use a little bit more I could stand to use just a touch more and that's why you do want to make sure that you leave just a little bit of a tail just in case for something like this or you can cut it off it's really up to you um, whichever look you may want to go for uh, but I think at this point now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut that off pretty close take your uh, pliers, flatten it down pretty good, tighten it up. All right, so now there's that one. I'm going to again bring it around. This one's going to go back in and under. There we go. You want to make sure you can see how that looks so that wire ends at like the perfect spot right there to get it to focus focus anyway so you can see how that's looking so far okay so now again we're going to kind of push these down this one we're going to bring around the front and off like this so now with this one this one's perfect I'm going to go ahead clip that off so you see there's a minimal waste so far very minimal and that's what I always strive for uh, you will have some waste of the base wires but that almost can never be helped because you would rather have a little extra of base wires than not having enough and then you can't add more to it and then you're like oh what do I do so I brought it around like that and you see that one has a pretty good little gap so I'm going to actually pull this one down a little bit uh, so that maybe it won't have quite so much of a gap so you can kind of see how it's looking so far and I'm gonna bring this one in and underneath and I'm getting off camera again I'm so sorry <laughs> And again, keeping it nice and tight. Um, and for the most part, there's your ring. There's your ring. So at this point, I am going to kind of take my pliers. I'm going to gently push that bare base wire as well as this one. I push them together to try to close that gap. Uh, and you can do the same thing on the other side. But at this point now only thing you have left to do is to tighten these base wires right here against your band really well go in and cut that's all you got to do um, now at this point what you actually do want to do separate these two second ones take this first one bring it up so you see how I've got it where it'll kind of cross uh, you want to make sure you get it out a little bit though so you don't cut that and you can see kind of where I'm going to be cutting okay first bit of scrap wire of base now you're going to take your pliers and you're going to try to tuck that in now if you have to you can kind of loosen these others up so that you can get that base wire up under there uh, I've seen it done where you go ahead and you tuck the base, cut the base wire and tuck it on in. Uh, this is just how I'm doing this one. So I'm actually going to loosen that one up a little bit more 
So I've got a little bit more space along with that one as well. Okay, so that way I've got just a little bit more space in there. Forgive my computer, it dings a lot. <laughs> it ding a ling a lings. So just kind of trying to get my pliers in there and get that tip of the wire bent and you can see I finally was able to get that so you see it's it's in there really nice now so I'm gonna leave this one I'm gonna take the copper one you want again make sure everything looks good around the front bring it up really nice and tight okay and then you want to cut wherever you may choose to so you see that's where I'm cutting it at okay and again see this is where these thin bent nose pliers come in really handy you can always use a pair of regular bent nose pliers like what I have as well and I have used those uh, but you can see I'm working with a very small area so that's when these little suckers come in really good and handy so now that I've got that one tucked, I'm going to go ahead and work on this last one. Get it good and tight. Okay. Bring it out just a little bit. Right there is where I'm going to cut. Again. Okay. And you can see it's almost invisible by now. I keep going off camera. I'm sorry. All right. And with that, you have one side of your ring done. So imagine that's not there. <laughs> and that would be your ring if that wasn't there. So now you got to do that part and then you will be done. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to finish this up the exact same way I did this side. And we will look at the finished product. All right, guys. Now here is our finished ring. And as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and pop it on here. It ended up being a bit larger than what I planned. It ended up being a 10, but that's not that far of a difference. And then I turn it like that, it actually ends up being a 9. So it just kind of, this is one that has the groove in it in the back. So that kind of makes a difference in it too. But I think it turned out gorgeous. Um, quite comfortable. Very nice. You can see it doesn't sit up too high. That little bit of copper gives it just a little color, and I love how that looks. So I think that this makes a really nice ring. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching and somewhat following along with me. I try not to make the video too long. Um, but if you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. Give it a share. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more um, tutorials like this or anything else. Um, always leave a comment uh, with anything you'd like to say at the bottom, and we'll see you next time. Bye!